Let's try this kind of isotope problem. It reads, given the isotope tin 119, determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in this particular isotope. Okay, well, right off the bat we could find the number of protons and the number of electrons. Because we're talking about tin. And tin as the atomic symbol of Sn. So if you go to the periodic table and you look up tin, which down here has the atomic number of 50. Well, atomic number of 50 means it has 50 protons. Regardless of the tin isotope, if it's tin, whatever isotope you have of tin, it's always going to have 50 protons, because the number of protons, hence the atomic number, is going to identify the particular atom or the particular isotope. And remember, the integer number in the periodic table, not the decimal number, the integer number, is the atomic number, which is the number of protons. So, if we agree that there are 50 protons in any type of tin atom, which is the atomic number, then we've pretty much answered the proton question. Now, if we assume a neutral tin atom, well, the number of positive charges must equal the number of negative charges for the charges to cancel out to have a neutral tin atom. And I'm emphasizing with little superscript zero here. So in order to get a neutral tin atom, there must be 50 positives and 50 negatives. I'm just trying to do this a little bit mathematically. All right. So there's the protons, there are the electrons. 50 positive particles and 50 negative particles. You add those two amounts together and it's going to be zero. The net charge on that particular atom is going to be zero. So in this case, if we assume, and always assume this, unless you're told, always assume there's zero charge on the atom, unless you're told otherwise. So we've pretty much answered the electron question. Now, the number of neutrons. The number of neutrons is not determined directly from the periodic table. You need to look at this number here which is the mass number. And let's remind ourselves that the mass number the mass number is equal to say it out loud before I write this down is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Now, we're asked to find the number of neutrons. We know the mass number as 119 because that's what that 119 stands for. Get that one over here. And 119 equals the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Well, we know the number of protons is 50. Plus, I'll just write an n here. If we solve for n, that means we have to subtract 50 from both sides. A little algebra problem here. One equation, one unknown. If we do that, we have n is equal to 
69. So the answer to the neutron question is 69 neutrons.